Your color grading workflow is about to become obsolete, not because of some new software update you have to pay for, but because we just solved the four biggest problems every colorist faces daily. Problems that cost you hours of work. I'm about to show you four tools that will fundamentally change how you think about color grading. These DCTLs are designed to perform well on lower end GPUs while delivering professional results. But let's start with the biggest workflow killer that every colorist knows too well. Color slider, DCTL that rewrites the rules. Most colorists spend three hours adjusting individual color wheels and curves because traditional tools force you to work backwards from your vision. You jump between lift gamma gain, you adjust primary wheels, then you realize the shadows need more work, so you go back to curves, then you notice the skin tones are off, so you jump to qualifiers. And this whole process is working against how color actually functions. Our color slider DCTL gives you direct slider-driven control over how DaVinci applies color adjustments to common color ranges instead of fighting DaVinci's standard interpretation of your image. The system breaks colors down into red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow, which together comprise almost all the colors in your shot. But here's where it gets interesting. All our DCTLs include built-in masks below the sliders that give immediate visual feedback on what each slider affects. Here's your step-by-step -step workflow. First, click show all masks to see the actual color distribution that DaVinci is reading from your footage. Second, select the red mask and watch your parade as I reduce red interpolation. Third, use the red range to control how DaVinci interprets those color values. Watch the vector scope as I adjust this slider. Sometimes what we perceive as yellow or orange, like skin tones, DaVinci might interpret as red values. Here we can make internal adjustments. If I don't want red to be considered in my grade, I can reduce how the red is being interpolated. This acts like a qualifier without actually qualifying anything. Rather than using a qualifier to stress our machines, I'm using the DCTL to change how the color pixels are interpreted. But controlling individual colors is just the foundation. The real magic happens when you start building depth. The movie density DCTL creates impossible color depth. The movie density DCTL tackles the challenge every colorist faces when trying to recreate that rich layered look from films like Blade Runner 2049 or Mad Max Fury Road. You push saturation higher, you adjust curves, you try different color spaces, but your footage still looks flat and digital compared to those cinematic images. Traditional saturation tools add color intensity by pushing values higher. Your reds become neon, your blues turn electric, and the whole image loses that organic film quality you're trying to achieve. Movie density works backwards. It reduces color competition so the dominant tones separate and feel more layered. Our movie density DCTL builds on the color sliders foundation we just showed you. Think of it like sculpture. Instead of adding clay, you're removing everything that doesn't belong, revealing the cinematic color structure that was always hidden in your footage. Watch this clip with muddy color layers. When I apply the movie density slider and toggle A to B, Notice how the parade shows separation between color channels that didn't exist before. The algorithm analyzes each pixel and identifies competing color frequencies that muddy your image. It selectively reduces these competing values while preserving the primary color information. But even perfect color depth means nothing if your skin tones fail. Skin match tool that actually understands skin. Here's the dirty secret about skin tones. Every colorist struggles with them because human skin contains every color in the spectrum. You adjust lift gamma gain thinking you're fixing skin, but you're actually shifting 12 different color frequencies that make up human skin tone. Professional colorists know that if skin tone fails, the whole grade failed. The Skin Match DCTL 2.0 has been revamped. We've improved the coding so that the skin tone map now reads more accurately. When you turn on the skin tone map, orange indicates an exact match to skin tone, yellow is close to skin tone, and blue signifies non-skin tone areas. This feedback helps you see the algorithm selection, which you can confirm with the vector scope or by toggling the mask on and off. Your workflow breaks into three steps. First, turn on the skin tone map and use the skin range slider to narrow your selection to the desired skin areas. Be aware that this might also select colors similar to skin tones, such as certain shades of leaves, but this is acceptable as our primary focus is on accurately selecting skin tones. Second, adjust the skin hue slider until the areas you want to correct turn orange on the map. Once you achieve the correct hue, turn off the skin tone map and switch to using a vector scope to align your skin tones to the skin tone line. Third, use the skin brightening tool to increase or decrease brightness according to your preference, then apply the skin smoothness slider to solve any patchiness around the edges when you push brightness or hue to extreme levels. Watch this close up where no qualifiers are needed, just this DCTL. Older workflows often required working after the color space transform, but we've made this tool more flexible to be used earlier in the node tree. Perfect skin tones set the foundation, but they need the right tonal structure to feel cinematic. 
Film Fade DCTL delivers cinematic split toning. That tonal structure comes from split toning, where most colorists give up on achieving that cinematic look because traditional curve tools make you choose between precision and creativity. You want that orange and teal separation inspired by the color separations you see in films like Sicario, but every time you try to recreate it, you end up with muddy colors or harsh transitions that look amateur. Da Vinci's built-in curve tools force you to manually plot dozens of points, and one wrong adjustment destroys hours of work. Our Film Fade DCTL features an overlay that maps shadows, mid-tones and highlights into controllable regions and uses sliders to alter those regions without manual curve plotting. Instead of fighting with curve points, you use intuitive sliders to adjust shadow range, highlight roll-off, contrast and contrast pivot independently. The contrast pivot changes how contrast is weighted across mid-tones, shifting where the tonal balance sits in your image. Each slider controls a specific mathematical function without interfering with the others. Watch this demonstration on flat, low contrast footage. When I turn on the curve overlay, you can see the shadow, mid-tone and highlight regions mapped out. Now I adjust the shadow range slider and watch how the shadows separate without affecting the highlights. When I move the highlight roll off slider, notice how the highlights roll off smoothly while preserving the shadow work we just did. Toggle A to B and you can see the tonal separation that would take hours to achieve manually. The algorithm creates mathematically perfect gradients that preserve smooth transitions while maintaining color separation. When you adjust any slider, it recalculates the entire tonal transition using algorithms that maintain the cinematic quality you're after. You're getting professional split toning results with complete creative control over every tonal value in a single unified interface. So these tools work together as a complete system that transforms how you approach color grading. Now let me show you exactly how to get started with these DCTLs. These four tools are compatible with DaVinci Resolve Studio 17 and later, though you should confirm your platform supports the features we demonstrated. They're designed to provide an efficient alternative to higher GPU tools inside Resolve, especially for colorists working on lower end systems. If you want the DCTLs, check the link in the description and there is a free demo version I used in this video. You asked for tools that could match professional color grading without the professional budget. And we built exactly that. Stop fighting your software and start creating the cinematic looks you've always envisioned with faster, less GPU heavy grading that gives you precision masks and complete tonal control.